Hey guys, Warpla here, bringing you a tutorial on rendering in After Effects. So, um, as I was on YouTube, I've been noticing that there are a lot of videos on really high quality rendering on Adobe After Effects CS4, but not so much on CS5. I found like probably two or three videos on CS5, and they're not that helpful. So, um, I'm going to show you some very fast and very high quality render settings that I use. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. So, um, open up After Effects, obviously, and, um, import your footage. I'm just going to import just this random stuff, and, yeah. So, um, before you do anything, you want to hold down Shift and go to Edit, Preferences, General. And if you don't hold down Shift, this is not going to pop up. This is just gonna, it's not gonna be there, this secret thing. So, um, what you wanna do is you wanna check this, disable layer cache, purge every two frames during make movie, and check this, ignore sequence surrendering errors, danger. Press OK. What that does, it makes your rendering a lot faster. And, yeah. Okay. So what you want to do, you want to get your composition, and right here you want to notice the FPS. Mine is 59.94, because that will be important later. So you want to drag, oh, before you do that, you want to go down here, and the depth, you want to make it 16 bits per channel. And you want to press OK. So you want to drag this down here, right here, right next to it, right there, there you go. Oops, sorry. And um, you want to get this, and you can add a little color correction if you want, I'll just, um, I'll just add something quick. Um, hold on, I'll just add a preset. Um, There, there we go. Um, okay. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Okay. All right. So once you've done your thing with your clip, um, you want to go here. You want to go to composition, add to render queue. Do not export. Just add to render queue. Okay. There you go. So um, the render settings right here. Here are the render settings, and here's the output module. What you want to do is you want to output, you want to click right here and output to anywhere. I'll just do it to um, the desktop. Just name it test. Save. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to render settings. You want to click this right here. The quality you want best. The resolution you want full. And the frame rate, again, before my FPS is 59.94 you want to use the comps frame rate okay you don't need to use all this other stuff and yeah press OK <clears throat> in output mode click this format H264 you wanna click include source XMP metadata now for the format options you wanna click this and the profile you want high, level you want 5.1. The bitrate settings you want to click CBR. And the bitrate MBPS is 8. For multiplexer, you don't need to mess around. Okay, press OK. For the audio output, if you're working with audio, then obviously you have to use it or else there will be no audio so click the audio output and this is okay 488 kilohertz stereo you can go here and just mess around with it I this doesn't have audio so it's kinda pointless to do that then um... press ok so once you've done that before you render before you render you wanna hit 
caps lock. You don't. You just want to hit it when caps lock is on. That disables a preview, which requires a lot of RAM. And yeah, so the render will be even more faster. Okay, so I'll hit render. It'll take like it won't take too long. It'll take like um. 10 seconds and I'll show it to you after so here it is and before I open it up I must tell you that if your render takes a long time it's all due to how long your clip is how many effects you've put in it and how much how much your RAM how much your computer how much RAM your computer has okay so let's view this and um whoops sorry um ah oh, this is kind of fail but as you see it's actually really good quality it's on a big screen but on youtube it will be very good quality okay yeah those have been my render settings for cs5 hope you enjoy and use them yeah See ya.